Gangrel are ultimate predators, it's well known. But once you've sort of torn apart a, a polar bear, drunk the blood of a lion, um, managed to trample an elephant somehow, um, dived and drunk from a blue whale, and mash down whatever seemy sea monstrosity periodically comes up. What more is there once you are the ultimate predator? How can you sort of show it? How can you challenge yourself? Well, by creating new predators, better ones. The professor, the, st the odd professor at the, uh, with the strange night hours that works at the genetics labs um, at various universities has a great reputation for crossing species, mixing properties, um, creating very science fictiony things. I mean if you go to his lab um, at, at night is when he gives you a tour you'll just see respectable things like potatoes with jellyfish genes so they glow in the dark. Well, there's always these stories about these lions with jellyfish genes so that they sting with the slightest touch, or these grizzly bears, um, uh, grizzly bears that can breathe water, and all these abominations. But that's just sort of science fiction, that sensationalist journalist. This is a perfectly respectable professor with these brilliant insights and very helpful, and occasionally him and one of his latest creations just seem to vanish for a while, and a few days later there'll be reports in the news of strange battles being fought in the forest, and the professor will come back with a huge smile on his face, uh, or her face, as if new meaning has been found in life, and Somewhere, in a deep basement, somewhere, another head of an animal that has never been seen before and will probably never been seen again is hung by a fireplace full of these. Thank you.